Early on, uh, there was a massive slowdown in the business during the 2008-9 crisis. And, uh, you know, we had days when, uh, you know, there was not enough money to uh, pay to the weavers or give salaries or to pay our vendors. And that forced us literally uh, and me personally to go beyond all the means and see what, what could, you know, we do really and what could I do to save the business. And I think that truly was a turning point in my career. Uh, so in 2016, we started with our first retail store in Delhi. And obviously retail is not easy and the first year we were having quite a bit of losses and the whole family told me that, you know, it's a big loss and why don't you shut down the retail? Uh, you know, it's not easy to do retail and many of my friends said that carpets in India, you know, will not really be a very successful business. But I believed in it and I started to really work hard to see how I could make it successful, how could we brand the business and how, you know, how could we really uh, tell a story. And, you know, very quickly things changed around uh, for the better. Uh, and I'm, I'm glad we took the decision to, uh, you know, not close down the store, but actually uh, be more active and build a brand in the country and all over the world. I think when we opened our store in Milan, uh, I just cannot describe that feeling when I was outside that store. Um, I think that was one of the most uh, precious moments in my life. You know, I've been a workaholic all my life, uh, you know, so I think my uh, advice to myself uh, when I was young would probably be that just go out, have a little more fun, enjoy life uh, also with all the hard work that you do. So my father's always been my ideal, uh, uh, but I always had a huge respect and I've learned, I think, a lot from Steve Jobs. Uh, so I think just uh, taking a trail in the mountains or, uh, you know, just listening to music and walking is probably calms me down quite a bit.